Hello everybody, I'm Adam Bilsing and this is the Oregon Drum Project where we do deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is a lesson day and our topic is Flamacue Accent Variations Part 1. I think we're going to do a two-parter for this one. So we're going to get right into the play-alongs here in just a minute, uh, but before that, let's roll the intro. Okay, so how do we get into these? Where do we start? Well, for starters, what is a flamacue? It is one of these rudiments that's a little less common, um, but basically it goes like this. So it's a five note string. The first note is a flam and the last note is a flam. And just like you saw in the exercises, generally four sixteenths notes followed by a quarter note. You can play it right hand lead or left hand lead. So right flam, left, right, left, right flam. Or left flam, right, left, right, left flam. So that's the two ways you can do these. In the play alongs, I did everything right hand lead, but you can do them either way. Or for a special variation, try flipping back and forth from right hand lead to left hand lead. So do one grouping right hand lead and the next grouping left hand lead and back and forth. And you can do that through all of the crazy accents that we did in the play alongs. So how did I get into those accents? Now you might see a flamacue written with the accent on the second note or the E of the one E and a, and that's pretty common, I believe, which looks a little something like this. That's pretty common. So what I've done in these exercises is I took that accent and I moved it to every one of the five notes. And if you get deeper into the pages that you can download, there are uh, variations where there's two accents per five note phrase or three accents per five note phrase. They get a little more complicated and interesting. So to start it out, I would get the basic flamacue under your hands, just the stickings with the flams, no accents. Just practice that. Practice that, get it under your hands back and forth and then try to fold in the accents. So the first one's pretty easy. The accent is on the first note. And they get a little more difficult as you move it through. So break it down like that to start with, play it as simple as possible, and then add in the accents. Play it as slow as you need to, to get started, to get everything under your hands. Speed it up to 90 beats per minute where we did the play-alongs. And if those start to seem easy, you can speed it up even faster than that. So tune in next week. I'm going to try some different variations with these that uh, turn it into kind of a hemiola phrase and uh, potentially break us out into some metric modulation ideas, which will be kind of interesting. All right, that's going to do it for today's lesson video from the Oregon Drum Project, Flamacue Accent Variations Part 1. 
If you'd like to download the practice material so you can work on that at home, you can find it over on my website at dirtybandana.com in the blog section. And we'll also drop a link down in the description below so it's nice and easy for you. If you want to follow along and make sure you don't miss any upcoming episodes from the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums. And you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including an excellent merch store where you can buy shirts like this backbeat shirt to support me on my way at dirtybandana.com that's it for now we'll see y'all next time <laughs>